Hi, I'm Lisa and today we're spicing up our greens with a recipe of sautéed greens with garlic and cumin. Our ingredients for today's recipe, two bunches of green Swiss chard, a 14 and a half ounce can of organic diced tomatoes, a teaspoon of whole cumin seeds, or you can use already ground, three or four garlic cloves sliced, if you don't like it quite as garlicky, you could cut down on that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do to really bring up the flavor in this recipe is we're going to toast our cumin seeds. I think this really will add quite a bit to this recipe, so we're going to give that a try over at the stove. Okay, so we have a small saute pan here, and on a low flame, we're just going to shake our cumin seeds right in there. We don't have any oil or anything in there. Give them a little shake. And we're just gonna let them go about a minute or two until we start to smell the aromas of the cumin. Okay, while our cumin seed is toasting, I'm going to show you our what we're gonna use as a spice grinder today. It's just a small Mr. Coffee coffee grinder, but we don't use it for coffee beans. It des it's designated only for spices. And basically, when we're ready, we'll just be putting the spice inside the blade area, putting our lid on, and pulsing it until we've ground it exactly the way we want it. So let's go check and see if our cumin seeds are ready. Okay, our spices are toasted. They have released their flavor, and we're going to take them over to the spice grinder. We're just going to shake them right in. Okay, there we go. We're just going to pulse this a few times. Okay, that looks good. Just another one. Okay, and then we're going to turn it upside down. Give it a good shake. Our spice ends up in this plastic cup. And we will be now going to the stove and sauteing up our garlic and cumin spice. Okay, so we are ready to saute up our garlic and cumin seed first. And we're going to be using some extra virgin olive oil, putting that in the pan. We want to get some heat on that as well. Actually, you could put the garlic in <laughs> before the oil is hot. That's fine. We're going to stir that around, get a little brown on it. And if you don't like a strong garlic flavor, then you could just put a clove in, give it a very slight crush, and then just take it out at the end of the recipe. If you like a really strong taste of garlic, you could chop it fine, and that will bring in even a stronger flavor. I like to do it in slivers because then the people that are eating it can push it aside if they don't want to eat it, but if they like it, they can eat it as well. We're going to add our cumin seed now, our crushed cumin. And we're going to let that go a little bit. And while this is getting a slight brown on it, we're going to cut up our Swiss chard. Okay, so we have our lovely Swiss chard leaves. Most of them have already been cut. Like I said, this was two bunches. And I'm going to show you an easy way to prepare these large leaves. You just take your knife and slide it down and cut that big stem right out. Just lay that flat, and you can stack a couple of these up at a time. And we're going to cut that out. And we're just going to stack them up, one on top of each other. We're going to cut right down the middle. And then we're just going to fold one half over the other half and slice right through them. About an inch. And 
we're going to add them to our bowl and give them a nice saute at the stove. Okay, we're ready to start sauteing up our Swiss chart. This cumin and garlic smells very, very nice. Now, when we washed our Swiss chard, there was a little droplets of moisture on it. And we left those on the leaves because that helps the wilting process. Okay, you've got to give this a few seconds to wilt down before you start putting the rest of your chard in. But this, this cooks down quite a bit. I'm going to try to coat it with our garlic and cumin. And just keep stirring it. You can let it sit for a little bit. Okay, we're just going to give that a couple of seconds to do some wilting, and then we're going to add some more chard to our dish. As you can see, our Swiss chard wilted down very nicely. We're going to add a little bit of sea salt to that. A little sprinkle. And we're going to add our tomatoes. I drained some of the juice off of these. I'm going to mix that all together. Pretty colors. Very nice. It'll be nice and fragrant. We're just going to let that simmer for a little bit with the tomatoes in it. We'll come back and check it in a few minutes. And it'll be ready to eat. Okay, so here you have it, our lovely dish of sautéed Swiss chard with garlic and cumin. I know you'll love this if you'll give it a try, and you can use this to spice up any greens. Enjoy!